The question says if two medians BE and CF of a triangle ABC intersect each other at G and if BG equals to CG and angle BGC is 60 degrees and BC equals to 8 centimeter then the area of triangle ABC is the given options are 48, 64 root 3, 96 root 3 and 48 root 3. So let's consider the triangle here. So the triangle is ABC. Right, there's a triangle ABC. So this is the triangle. Let's say A, B, and C. Now he says the medians BE and CF. Now what do you mean by median? Median is the line joining a vertex to the midpoint of opposite side. So BE would be as shown here. Right, this is BE. E would be the midpoint of side AC. Similarly, CF from vertex C, you have to draw a line joining the midpoint of opposite side. Opposite side here is AB. This is CF. So these are the two medians, BE and CF are the two medians which intersect each other at the point G. And you know that G represents the centroid. Now even from vertex A, when you draw a median, it will pass through the point G, right? All the three medians intersect at centroid. So that is what is given. Next he says BG equals to CG. Now this is an important point, BG equals to CG. What does it mean? This, this length BG is equal to CG. These two are equal, right? So if you look at triangle BGC, BG is equal to CG and then angle BGC is 60 degrees. What is angle BGC? This angle. This angle is 60 degrees is what it says. And BC equals to 8 centimeter. This length is 8 centimeter. So if you look at it, we know a lot about this triangle BGC. In triangle BGC, angle is given as 60 degrees, right? BC is equal to 8. See, you need not write all these steps in the exam. I'm just trying to explain to you in detail, right? Angle, angle G is equal to uh, 60 degrees right and the other point that we know is equal is bg equals to cg so if you really look at it when bg is equal to cg their opposite angles must also be equal if these two sides are equal then these two angles has also have to be equal which means angle b should be equal to angle c are you getting it because bg is equal to cg angle b should be equal to angle c in this particular triangle right we know that angle b plus angle g plus angle c is 180 degrees so from this we can say angle b plus angle c is equal to 120 degrees why 120 g is equal to 60 degrees substitute it here so from 180 if you remove 60 we are left with 120 degrees and moreover we know that angle b is equal to angle c so if b and c are equal each must be 60 degrees yes or no both these angles are equal and the sum is 120 so you have to take half for each of that angle so 60 degrees and 60 degrees so if you if you consider now overall this triangle BGC is an equilateral triangle, yes or no? This comes out to be an equilateral triangle because all the three angles are equal. All the three angles are equal. So now we can conclude that BGC is an equilateral triangle. How do you get the area of an equilateral triangle? So area of area of triangle BGC is equal to what? Root three by four a square. A is nothing but the side. What is the side? See side is BC. 8 it is given to us and obviously these two will also be 8 all the three sides are equal in 8 so area can be taken as root 3 by 4 into 8 squared so 64 by 4 is 16 16 root 3 comes out to be the area of this triangle right let me show it in a uh, different color here the area of this shaded triangle here right area of this triangle is root uh, 16 root 3 but what do we have to find out? We have to find out the area of the complete triangle, right? Now the point is, if you go by the properties of centroid, you know that a centroid would divide the triangle into three equal parts. Yes or no? It will divide the triangle into three equal parts. For example, if you consider this median here, median, this the centroid along with the medians will divide the triangle into three equal parts. What are the other two parts? What is shown in yellow here? See, so much of analysis is not needed. I'm sure all of you have got the right answer, right? And you know what we are talking about, right? All these three, in fact, I can say these are the three equal parts. All these three are equal parts. So the area in red, the area in yellow, and the area in green, all three are equal, right? So now we can conclude that, so now we can conclude that area of the triangle, area of, triangle ABC is equal to, you know, area of triangle uh, is equal to three times, three times the three into area of 
and BGC. Why? Because all these three are equal. So if this is 16 root 3, these two will also be 16 root 3 each. So area of the complete triangle will be 3 times 16 root 3. So just simplify it. So 3 into 16 root 3, which comes out to be 48 root 3. 48 root 3 centimeter square. Option 4. All right. Option 4 is the correct answer. But then when you solve it in the exam, try to cut down the number of steps, right? Keep it simple. Like, like for example, you can just uh, put the triangle here and visualize that BGC is going to be an equilateral triangle. Not by looking at the figure, but by seeing the points given there. That BG equals to CG, so two sides are equal, then definitely these angles have to be equal. So each angle comes out to be 60 degrees, equilateral triangle, area will be root 3 by 4, A square. And once you get this area, you know that it is going to be three times. So you need not write all the steps to uh, mark the answer, right? Strictly speaking, this, this step that we have put on paper is not needed. You don't have to write the formula in the exam. You won't get it extra marks for this just say 16 into 3 root 3 so 48 root 3 option 4 would be the answer 